Today's drawing is Rosa Parks, the legend. So um, who's Rosa Parks? Well, she refused to give up her seat on a city bus for a white passenger. Ugh, back when they separated black and white, which is, we all know is ridiculous. Ugh. Anyways, Rosa's my hero, love her. Anyways, she stood up and says, uh, no, I'm not giving up my seat, mm-mm. So I'm like, you go girl. Okay, so we're gonna start with her profile. I made a profile, I usually don't do that. But it's her looking out the window. She's sitting on the bus and she's like, nope, I'm gonna sit right here on my bus. So we're gonna start with an oval for the head. Nice big juicy oval. And then for a profile, right where her, so her eye right here in the middle, um, we are going to do her, her profile face. So her face is gonna come down, it's gonna come in and out. So right where this, our center line is, we're gonna have it come in and out. Then you wanna give her her nose. Can you guys see that already? Okay, and then her lip is gonna come in there. And then we want to put her chin, her chin in there, okay? So we can erase right that little inner spot, and then we also can erase this, oops, sorry. This bottom part, okay. So you already can see from what we've made as a profile. So on this center line that we have, we're gonna do her eye. So it's almost gonna be like a triangle, right on that eye, and then we're gonna give her some some lashes here. I'm just gonna put some lashes in there. And then let's, um, hmm, try to think what to do about the ear. Well, we'll come back to that. So let's erase in there now that we have the eye in there. And then her eye's gonna come up like this. So this is her profile eye. And then we'll have put her little shiny in there. And that's her pupil and we'll color that in, okay? So, she has an eyebrow, so we're gonna put that in. And now we're gonna finish off her nose. So it's gonna just gonna come up a little ways. This is the side of the nose. And then we're gonna give her a nostril in there, okay? And then for her lip, it kinda has a cute, comes up and down, and then she kinda has a smirk like, mm-hmm. Don't you be taking my seat. Okay, so that's her lip. And then we're gonna do her bottom. Ay, ay, ay. Shara, that doesn't look like a good lip. Let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna make this center part. It's gonna come up even more, a little bit. All right, we have more of a smile. Actually, it's gonna come out even farther. So we're gonna make the, it come all the way out to here. And then she has her little lip there. Okay, this is a little better. I think I might have made her nose a touch big. So if you wanna like shave off some of that nose, um, I did look at her profile. And um, there's her lip and then she has her bottom lip here. Okay, it'll look better when it's colored in, I'm sure, right? Okay, so she's got her glasses on, so her glasses are gonna come over her, like her eye right here, like right in front of it. And then it has a bridge to it. And then we're gonna draw another one behind here. So she's got her glasses. And then this is going to be coming back here and connecting. And so now we want to put her jawline. So she's got a beautiful jawline. It's coming into the circle. And then this part is gonna come in and down. So this is her neck. And this is her jawline. And above, right here, this is gonna be where her ear is. Up to there. Okay, so now let's find her hairline. So we're gonna do her hairline right here and we're just gonna give it kind of like a little wave for her hairline. And then her hairline is gonna come down to past her glasses and it's gonna go over to the ears. Okay, and she's wearing a, and then her hair is gonna come up. So then when we're gonna be putting in the Sharpie marks for her hair. Okay, so we can 
So back here, this is going to be where her hair is going to come from. So she's got, it looks like a, several buns. So behind here, let's do that line. And let's do one, like one piece of a bun there. We've got another bun. So she has all her hair like twisted up. It's, once we put it, it's gonna look good. So when you Sharpie it, you will Sharpie different lines in here. And it will look good in the end. I know it looks a little funny now, but we can make it look good. And so now let's look and put her hat in. So her hat's gonna be above this. It's gonna come out and come over. So it looks like she's wearing a hat and the hat's gonna go above her ear. So it's gonna come down about here and go where her hairline is. So this is her hat she's wearing. I did look at a lot of hats and her, we want it to come, let's see, we'll probably have it come like up to here above that line. And then it comes down like this and it has like a wave to it. Look at that, awesome. And this one, we're gonna put a wave to it and it's gonna come down like that. Actually, I think there's like three lines. Let's get more lines in here. Let's count how many lumps. So we have like one, two, three. So we're gonna go, here's the beginning one, two, three. And now let's connect this one, parallel it down to here and erase. Now we can erase this back line. We don't need this anymore. It was helpful. We're trying to get this right, right? All right. So now what you can do is you can just do some lines. Ah, oh, she's looking good. Rosa, Rosa. Okay. So now we're gonna put some of these lines here going back so it looks like her hair. Oh, actually we did. Her hair is kind of coming over her ears. Uh, so we put some lines back here and then she's gonna have some more lines. Whoop. All right, now it's time for her. Um, oh, we don't need the bottom of this circle. So the circle eventually is disappearing, but it was helpful when we needed it, right? We don't need it anymore. Okay, so coming off of here is gonna be her outfit. So it's gonna come. And this is gonna be her scoop neck and her beautiful red jacket. And we'll have her jacket coming off of here. And let's see, we'll have this lump. This will go here, that'll be her collar, her extra line. Okay, so we are going to, I'm gonna Sharpie it and I'm gonna show you how I colored her, okay? I used a thin Sharpie on the outside and then I'm gonna use a thick Sharpie around the inside, okay? So let's do it. Now I'm going in with my big Sharpie. Erase your lines. All right, we're now going to color Rosa Parks. So a little bit about her. Her mother was a teacher and her father was a carpenter. So you're gonna take the light brown and we're gonna do her eyes. Okay. And then we are going to color her whole face tan and then we're gonna add to it. So we're just gonna do a general cover the whole thing. Try not to go over the glasses because we want those to be a touch lighter than everything else so they look like glasses. Her ancestry is African, Scottish, Irish, and Native American. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. That's, why the, that's why she's so beautiful. Look at those cheekbones. And... Anyway, 
she's, she's a very beautiful woman. Okay, we're gonna color the whole thing one color. Just using a tan, you can go over her lips, go over everything, we're gonna add color to it, but we're just doing a base coat. Coloring the whole thing. So definitely this looks different than that, right? Yeah, and so we're gonna try to get this to look like that. So, all colored in. So now you wanna take this, and now we're gonna put, press harder, same color. We're gonna go around the outside and we're gonna blend it in. So this is gonna start getting our tones in there. She's got amazing cheekbones. So we're just gonna come down here, make this a little bit darker. And then go under her chin to make that darker in there, behind by her ear. So what else do we know? Uh, she graduated high school in 1933. Oh, I think my mom was born in 1932. Anyways, long time ago. Wow. Almost 100 years ago. Yeah, 89 years ago. And at that time, less than 7% of African Americans had a high school diploma. Ooh, wow. That's sad. Okay, so now we're gonna color, you see how she has this like mark here. So we're just gonna emphasize that. We're gonna go along her jawline and go under her lip, um, under her nose. I guess I made this one a little more turned up. She actually has more of a turned down nose. Um, so it looks more like that from her profile. So now you wanna go underneath her glasses and you can go around her eyes. And uh, now we're gonna come in with the other color. So to make this look like it's filling in the white, I don't know if I have it right here. Do I have one? Let's see if I have a peach, a darker peach. Okay. We're gonna get a peach just to fill in this white. We don't wanna be seeing this, the white in there. So we're just gonna fill the whole thing with peach and then we're gonna come in there with light brown and dark brown. But this is just to get that white. So there's no, you can't see it, the paper. We don't wanna see the paper, right? So I'm just filling in all that white spots. And then we'll come in more. And um, we can put a little bit in here. So it looks like you can somewhat see the glasses. Okay, so now we are going to color a little bit on her cheeks. I got pink out here. So we're gonna give her some blush. Ooh, man, I kinda did that a little harsh. So I'm trying to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. Um, she got involved in the civil rights movement. Wow, yeah, obviously. And then color her lips, which we will put red in there. but. Start with the pink. All right, that looks so pretty. I'm also gonna put a little bit of pink just on her eyeshadow. Give her a little feminine tip. So now you're gonna go with, um, oh, she. so she also was elected the secretary of the civil rights movement. Ooh, fancy. This is the light brown. So now we are gonna come in here. Let's do her eyebrows. Actually, those are gonna be darker. Okay, well, we'll start with that. Um, let's go more underneath her chin with the light brown, and then we're gonna come in there with some dark brown too, but start with the light brown. Uh, some of my last videos, if I did African Americans, people are like, they don't look black. I'm like, well, like Harriet Tubman, if I colored them in dark enough, then you would stop, start losing their features. So you can make her as dark as you want, okay? I'm doing it so you can still see what I've drawn, but you can make her any shade of black you want. Okay, so I'm just coloring this in. Now I'm gonna color in more of her, underline her low lights, her jawbone, which is amazing right here. Color more down here. When, now I'm just trying to color lightly so it's Okay, she does have a little bit of Irish in her, so her skin might be a touch lighter. Um, she has that Native American. So now you can come in with regular brown, and then now we are really gonna get those dark spots in here. So 
I know this has nothing to do with Harriet Tubman, but I just saw on social media, somebody asked why is the light, Walt Disney's light off? Because usually it's always on. So somebody said that if the light's off, that means somebody in his family is at the park. I'm like, oh, interesting. So I'm just going around. We're just gonna make this a little extra dark here. So you're just gonna have to work with this and just go until you get to the point where you're like, oh, that's perfect. But you're just gonna work over all of your colors. I'm going along the edge some more. Oh, our eyebrows, let's color this in dark. Yeah, they're almost black. So we're, just, we're probably coming in with a black colored pencil. Oh, the shadows are starting to come. So just keep working it till it's really dark. And oh, also what I did, I came in here, I'm gonna color over the, the black hair with some brown. You can do the light brown or dark brown because you don't want her to look like she's gray because she's not, she's gray or she's not that old yet. Looks like it might rain outside. Okay, so I'm just coloring this in. Oops. Oh, we were gonna put some red in her lips. So her upper lip, we want to make it a little bit darker than the bottom lip. And the bottom lip, we're just going to go around the outside and just lightly come inside. Upper lip, color the whole thing. Oh, I did put a touch of pink on her nose. I always do that. And I'm going to come in here with light brown in her lips. Put a little dark or light brown in there. But you want to definitely, you're going to want to make her eyebrows maybe get black in there because they're a little darker than that. I'm going to come in here and get a little shading. And just keep working the colors because you're gonna have to keep working it because it doesn't look like that exactly. Let me think, does it need more? I might go in when there was another layer of the peach in there just to get rid of all that white. Because they're trying to get rid of that white. You don't want the white in there. So you can come in there with peach or tan and then get some more browns in there. Okay, now for her outfit down here, what I did was red. I'm gonna do two lines down, whoop, and then come over a little ways and then do two lines down. And come over a ways, do two lines down. And there's one more piece here. Now we're gonna make the cross hatch. So it looks like a plaid. So do two lines together, two lines together, two lines together. And then now I went in there, oh, beautiful. A light brown and I'm gonna make a thicker brown streak between all of them. And then I went across the top. And then every once in a while, I put in a thick streak here. Did I do that on each one of them? I did. And then I'm gonna paint, oh, I don't even have yellow. Oh, here's some yellow. Then I took my golden yellow. I thought this would just look lovely with the, the red coat. And then you're just gonna color your red coat really dark right under her chin. And then just as you come down, you're just gonna go tick, 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 tick. Finish it off down at the bottom. All right, and then I also put some, just put lots of layers, go back and forth, different layers. And then I also went with the light brown. Maybe I did dark brown or gray. I still think I went gray. Do I have gray? No. Mm -hmm. Here's some gray. Oh, it's broken. Well, that's not helpful. No. Okay. Well, you guys are going to have to do it by yourself. You guys got this. Oh, I also forgot, darn it, to make her look like in a bus. You can take a ruler or just your pencil box and behind her head, a line. And then we're going to put a line down. And then put a line across. This is so it looks like this is she's in the bus. She's looking out her window. And I'm gonna put another piece of the bus right here. 
Okay, so color that and hope it worked out. See you guys.